Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations and welcome to this mixed um, card making Monday video. I'm going to be playing around with the uh, Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. I'm going to do some uh, watercolouring with them. I'm going to use memento ink, some uh, some blank, uh, acrylic blocks from Meme store and my store. Um, I've got my card bases cut. This is a C6, so this is the UK standard size. Um, card and you can so you can do this whichever card base you want. I'm going to be using some of May May stamp sets. So I've got so I've got here um sorry sunflower wishes and big time sayings. So I'm going to open up this this is the new size stamp block which is available in my store. This is the four inch one. When you get yours you will have to peel off the protective um, lay the protective um, sticky stuff on there so you got a layer of this which protects it which is always handy so just take that off and then you get a nice big nice big stamp block so I've got this paint tray and I've got my one of the uh, spray bottles from my store and I'm going to put a selection of um, of these these new Spectrum Noir sparkles. So I've already taken the yellow bit off. So I'm just going to put an array of colours in. I think I'm going to use a green as well. Red, green and blue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to those. Got my have my card base. I'm going to grab hold of a paintbrush, and you can use any paintbrush. It doesn't need to be any specific one. And I'm just going to paint on the colours. Now I'm going to use a different paintbrush for each colour, and I am going to blend them slightly. Just need one more paintbrush. For the red, and this obviously, I'm hoping it translates well on camera. But there's a beautiful um, sparkle. They're like the um, uh, Winker Stella pens. So I'm going to use the, one of these big sentiments. I'm going to use the hello. And I'm going to use the nautical blue from um, Memento and my large stamp block. I've decided to use the blue rather than black because I didn't want the black to be the uh, focus. I wanted the colours picked out from the Spectrum Noirs to be the focus. Okay, that's the hello. Right, what else can I use from this stamp set? Hello, happy birthday to you. Hello, sending, sending hugs. I could have, I could have, hello, my friend. I think I'm gonna have my friend. So going back to the small stamp block which is available from my store, I'm going to put that in. Hello my friend. Okay, that's that. So put that back on the stamp set. And I think I'm going to use the um, Sunflower Wishes. Go into the sunflower wishes, and I think I'm going to use that. So, using the stem, just to show you what this looks like, using the stem, and I'm going to probably use the two size flower heads. So, using the stem on my large stamp block, and I'm only going to ink this partially. So, I'm going to have it there like that 
and there like that. Okay. Now going to my round stamp block which I got from Maymay. I don't know if these are back in stock at maymaymania.com but they may well be. I think I just need to add a bit more blue up here. Just so I can cover all the flower. And then the smaller one down here. Do I want to add a leaf? I think I might want to add a leaf or two. Yep, that looks good to me. Right, using my cropper dial, I'm going to use the half inch and I'm going to do all the corners. The same thing with my insert. Now I chose a green insert because I wanted to pick up the green from the card, no not half, half inch, not a quarter. And my card base. glue my insert on just leaving a touch of white all the way around Same with the insert, the actual top layer of the card. Now the cardstock I'm using is 280 GSM, so it's a nice thick cardstock. And a good thing about it, it dries really quickly. Right, grab my sequins. I'm just going to dig out some of the green ones. Or should I use the purple? I'm actually going to use the pink. Or should I do a pink and a green? Yeah, I think I'm going to do pink and green. Pick up the pinks and the greens from the card. One, two, that's red. Yep, I'll have you. Don't want you, don't want you. Right, let's look at placement. Just want to pop a dash of colour. Just running through the card. Now do I want five or do I want three? Because I like to work in odd numbers. So if I take that one out to move that. Do I want just the green? Or do I want green and pink? No, I just want the green. I don't want the pink. Okay. Put a dab of glue. Using my pick me up. This pick me up tool is also available from memamedia.com. And there we have a finished card. I love these Petra Noirs, they have an absolute beautiful um, sparkle glisten to them and I've got quite a few now so uh, 
thank you to the lovely lady who has sent me these I, I very much appreciate it and uh, this video is dedicated to you and I hope you feel better very soon you lovely lady thank you from the bottom of my heart so here's one that says hello my friend and here's one I did earlier and what I did to get these splotch marks and I'm going to do that with you now I used May May stamp set right to make this this kind of pattern here and here I'm going to do that with you I used my small let me just move these out of the way bring this over this is another one of May May stamp sets and it's called relic I believe yeah it's called relic so I'm going to bring this back over and I'm going to bring over some of this blue into the center and I going to squirt it with water and what I did using the big splotch here I put that on my stamp block and I picked up some of the color and I went into the relevant departments or areas and I splotched And I suppose because of the water that lifts some of the colour as well. And bring over some of the green. Again, back in, splotch, splotch, splotch. And that lifts some of the colour. And I think you could probably even do the same thing with a baby wipe. But that's how I got that effect here. As you can see some of the splotches came off so yeah see just there so it's really good fun to use your stamp sets and some and, and these spectra noir sparkles they're really nifty to use and i love how the uh how they work as watercolors so there's two cards for you this was uh this stamp set was using the um stamp set called sorry which is this one here and i use the two and the two dandelion plus the the, uh, the small one that's that's flying off. So thank you very much for joining me, crafters. My my, my videos are going to be a bit late this week because um, I'm not feeling too great because I've got a fibro flare coming. So I will get them out to you as quickly as I can. Um, this will probably be out late on Monday. Um, I'm not recording this this until um, Sunday evening because I've just not been able to do anything this weekend because of, of, of pain levels. But um, don't, thank you for your prayers and everything. I'm, I'm not whinging or anything because I love doing what I do. But I uh, hope you try this. If you do, head over to G's Creations on Facebook and May May Made It on Facebook and share your recreations. We'd love to see them. But just to bring you up, I, I really hope that the, the sparkle translates on camera. It probably doesn't because Spectrum Noir doesn't translate very well either. But I hope you can see somewhat what's there. But thank you very much for joining me, guys. And I will see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.